Okay, so hello friends, today our topic is the squamous cell papilloma. So papilloma here, it is the benign growth of the squamous cell. Okay, so it includes the epidermal, example is epidermal layer of the skin. So before going to the histological features, first uh, let's revise the epidermal layer. So this is the stratum corneum, then stratum lucidum, then stratus granulosum, then stratum spinosum, then stratum basilli. Okay. Next, it is the stratum corneum, stratum lucidum, stratum granulosum, stratum spinosum, and stratum basal. Okay, so here stratum corneum, what happened? The keratin layer. So this is the keratin layer. Layer. Now stratum spinosum okay stratum spinosum there it is the prickle cell okay here it will contain the prickle cell which forms the keratinized tissue prickle cells and here stratum basal so there it is the basal layer okay the histopathological features is based upon these three features basal layer now in histopathology the keratin layers will be hyperkeratinized hyperkeratinized okay hyperkeratinized keratinized prickle cell cells the in the prickle cells let's see and basal layer will be proliferated more and prickle cell the outer layer will be more thick okay so prickle cell the outer layer will be more thick now see the histopathological features one by one so first is here it is the first feature is it is you can see the proliferated basal cell layer and it is the here it is the prickle cell and you can see the thick prickle cell layer layer is thick okay and hyperkeratosis here you can see the hyperkeratosis the status squamous status corneum layer okay and here you can see the neoplastic stratified squamous epithelium this is the neoplastic stratified squamous epithelium so this is the features of squamous cell papilloma so guys if you like this video then please do not forget to hit the like button and also please do subscribe my channel